Here we are asked to find the zeros of the function f of x equals 4x squared minus 2x minus 9. To find the zeros means to substitute zero where f of x is. And so our new equation would be zero equals 4x squared minus 2x minus 9. Now there is at least three different ways that I could possibly solve this equation. I could solve maybe by factoring if the right hand side is factorable. I could maybe solve on my calculator. This particular problem, because I'm giving you nice whole numbers, is most likely not going to be on the calculator portion of the test, and so I think that would not be an option here. Or we could use the quadratic formula. Quadratic formula will always work to solve any quadratic equation, and so that's what I'm going to use here to solve this equation. Okay, the a value would be 4, b value would be negative 2, the c value would be negative 9. The quadratic formula says x equals negative b plus and minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Substituting my values in, I'm going to have a negative, negative 2, plus and minus square root in parentheses, negative 2 squared, minus 4, times 4, times negative 9. And then all of that is over 2 times 4. I now want to simplify. I have a negative negative 2, which would be positive 2, plus and minus square root. Negative 2 squared is 4. With the three factors here, I'm first going to simplify the signs. I have a negative 4 and a negative 9, so that would be positive. And then I'm going to multiply on my calculator. 4 times 4 times 9. 4 times 4 times 9 is 144. And then all this is over 2 times 4, which is 8. Simplify now the numbers underneath the root. So 4 plus 144 is 148, and then all over 8. Now, at this point, I want to simplify the root. I want to take my 148, and I want to see if I know of any factors that are perfect squares that will go into it. Well, I know 2 will go into it, but the problem is 2 is not a perfect square. How about 4? So if I did 4 into 148, 4 into 14 goes 3 times. That would be 12, remainder 2. And then 4 into 28 goes 7 times. So 4 into 148 goes 37 times. So it's 4 times 37. 37 is prime, and 4 is a perfect square. So this is a good factorization for the 148. What I'm trying to find out is if I can simplify that root any. I know that 148 is not a perfect square, but I'm trying to figure out if it contains a factor that is a perfect square so that it, I can simplify it. In this case, it does. So I'm going to rewrite this as square root of 4 times 37, and then leave everything else the way it is. Now, underneath the root, I'm going to take the square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2. It comes out from under the root. I can't take the square root of 37 because it's prime. All right. From here, I now want to split my answer. Okay. I will split it as 2 plus 2 roots of 37 over 8 and then 2 minus 2 roots of 37 over 8. Okay, I'm going to need a little bit more room, so I'm going to scooch these answers down below. I have 2 plus 2 roots of 37 over 8, and I also have 2 minus 2 roots of 37 over 8. All right, this one is going to simplify because I can split it and I can say 2 over 8 plus 2 roots of 37 over 8. So take each term in the top and put it over the denominator of 8. 
Doing that, I can reduce the 2 eighths. So 2 will go into both of those, so I'd have 1 fourth plus, and then I can do the same thing over here, reduce the numbers on the outside of the root. So this is going to be an understood 1 on the top, which would just be root of 37 over 4. So there is that one. And then down here, do the same thing, split it up, say 2 over 8 minus 2 roots of 37 over 8, and then reduce. So 2 over 8 would be 1 fourth minus the 2 over 8 on the second one would also be 1 fourth, but I'd be left with the root of 37 on the top and just the 4 on the bottom. All right, so those are my two answers. For online, it will give me the x equals, and then I would have to enter those two values in separately and separate them with a comma.